Hi everyone, we're back in the workshop today and we're going to have a quick look at the uh, genuine um, Myford ML7 um, Morse Taper 2 collets. So I've got a few here um, and we all know I like a collet. So first of all, um, if I just pull one out, um, so they fit straight into the Morse Taper. Um, you don't have anything else other than all oh, straight and the, the Morse taper and the spindle and you have the um, the nose um, to put on to secure it in place um, so you, if you're planning on buying any of these obviously they're quite old um, well I don't believe you can buy modern day ones if you can if anyone knows you can let me know um, and the, you have these two things which uh, help you uh, fit the collet to the nose. So if I show you, um, so the nose is just very simple. There's no, there appears to be no real taper on there. And you push it through, but obviously when the, um, we've got a recess here, when the collets are that, in that position, it won't, it won't go through the hole. So this thing, which um, allows you to compress the collet. Now, what you don't want to do is go down that, push it down that way, because obviously your thing, your skin can get caught in there, and it relatively uncomfortable. Well, very uncomfortable. So you can just push it, push it down. Probably not that far. And then you've got the other, the other part. So you can push that out a bit. Slide that onto the uh, the nose. And then as you, uh, so that spins freely, didn't mean for that to happen. Um, so then that's secured to the nose. So why bother with these rather than um, ER32s or something like that? So if I look at this one, and then I've got over here, I've got a, a Morse Taper 2. So, but the difference with this one is you have to uh, have a drawbar. So that negates the ability to be able to run anything through. I mean, it's fabulous that you can put ER standard ER, I think this, this is an ER16. So you can put ER collets, they do sort of 32s on a, stand, on a Morse, Morse Taper 2. So... Yeah, fabulous. They move into the modern world, but you can't push anything. You can't push any stock through, so you can only effectively do little bits. If I show you all this, uh, I think I picked the right collar. Let's have a look. So we got a. I don't know. It's about a foot long. So you can oh, that can go right into run through the uh, through the spindle with a headstock so there's quite a good advantage of these um, so one of the other questions uh, is my for do a a quick change I think it's called a quick change um, collet system um, and the only reason I've well no, there's two reasons I've not decided to try that first of all is one because um, they're terribly expensive um, and two I'm, I've got this uh, the view that I really want to try and minimize stick out as much as possible so let's um, let's go over to the uh, I'll switch off a second reposition the camera and then we'll have a look at this fitting this to the lathe okay back in a moment okay we're over at the lathe here so first consideration is ensure the threads are clear, cleaned on the uh, on the spindle and the inside. I have cleaned all of this already, but enough enough way up the spindle to allow the uh, collet to to come on. You also need to ensure you've cleaned all the thread on the um, 
on the lap. Uh, excuse the noise if you can hear it. We got a, a chap next door in his workshop. That's the big compressor going. Sorry, I just put the um, the collet back on the nut. Here we go then. So we've got the uh, collet in the nut. Just wind it in, just a little bit to get it into the position uh, to hold. I'm looking for my piece of steel. Goodness me, I hate getting old. Okay, so we just feed up piece of steel in or a work piece whatever it is and then do up the do up the nut and away you go and then you're ready you're ready to uh, to work so the one of the big advantages uh, advantages I see of this is as we spoke about a large piece of work can um, can go through the, through the uh, spindle so obviously that's quite good about, as opposed to on the uh, the wall saper to adapters where you need the drawbar um, and the second thing is that you're um, you, you're minimizing any you know effectively all you've got is the collet that could have an error in it, your spindle well your spindle bearings could have an error in the actual quality of the Morse taper two cut inside the spindle could have an error in and you call it. So you've got three. Now if we think of, uh, um, if we add the um, quick change um, Morse, sorry, the quick change collet, the, the genuine Myford one, what, what you effectively get is something that screws onto screws onto the spindle so you add and then your collets go into that so you're adding another I believe I'm not certain because I've never had a go but I believe that you're adding another area where where you could have um, a deviation so so you're not going to run true the other thing is, and, and, and many people, what they do is they fix a, ba uh, a back plate to here and then they bolt an, uh, an ER32 collet to it. So what you're then doing is, again, you're adding, you're adding the potential error of the back plate, you're adding the potential error of the ER32 collet holder, and then obviously the collet, well, that... The, the errors on the collets could be the same as the errors on here. So I'm not sure whether whether what I'm trying to do here is um, go to work and, and when I get machining in earnest then I'm sure I'm going to find out. Uh, I'm not going to go through put a clock on here and see how uh, how true this is running because I'm going to do another video basically just trying to show uh, how how accurate all the component parts of this this uh, ML7 is um, just just um, so th when we get to there we're, we're constructing the collet uh, uh, just all alignment of the bed and, and everything there so we'll do that as a separate thing but that, and then just to take it off, just unscrew, uh, pull it out, get the, um, sorry, just put it into the, uh, the little thing that allows you to compress it. Then it, it comes off and then all you do is knock it out with the with the plunger here okay so really that's about it on the uh, genuine um, Myford uh, Morse 2 Morse taper 2 collets so um, I hope you uh, 
find that interesting and and if there are other if i'm wrong in it any any way please let me know and i'll and i'll do um make sure it's corrected either in a hodgepodge episode or in the comments clearly it, it'll be there for everyone to read um and as i say we 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 do a future video at some time where we look uh, look at all the uh, how how accurate this this lathe's run and bearing in mind it's it's a pretty old thing so um, uh, yeah so we we'll go through that okay then cheerio. Thank you.